if we have umbrella headers we also have umbrella framework hi welcome to my channel and today I'm going to show you how you could create an umbrella framework and integrate it into an app umbrella framework is a framework that contains other frameworks so you'll have a framework a top level framework with sub frameworks so these sub frameworks could be a dependency a third party or another framework that you are managing and it could be one or more frameworks for every umbrella framework so when you're integrating your umbrella frameworks in your application the structure may look like this for instance we have the XYZ framework and then DF framework and these frameworks depend on other sub frameworks and uh, for instance uh, the XYZ is using AF networking and DF is using AF networking as well and some other uh, sub frameworks the disadvantage of using umbrella frameworks is that if in case these umbrella frameworks are using the same sub frameworks it means that you are using a duplicate so you have the same framework in one application bundle which means your application size would be larger to avoid this um, instead of using umbrella frameworks then you would just uh, add the uh, dependency in your application project as opposed to as embed them in an umbrella framework so Apple discourage uh, us from using umbrella frameworks because of the uh, reason I mentioned earlier and others other reasons that could make it difficult in terms of managing umbrella frameworks in this video we'll be working on a couple of umbrella frameworks uh, we call it XYZ and the uh, frameworks for this uh, demonstration so each framework um, will be using AF networking and then Coco Lumberjack as their sub frameworks and then what it um, what it can do is it's able to fetch some JSON information from a remote uh, server and then print them in the debugger so these frameworks are going to be built and then it are going to be integrated into the main application normally when you're designing your umbrella framework you would be creating your um, creating or preparing your dependencies such as uh, AF networking in this case and then uh, if you need to make it available for other uh, architectures then you would bundle it in an XE framework and then this XE framework such as uh, the blue icon here uh, for AF networking you will embed this framework in your umbrella framework such as the XYZ framework and eventually you would be using it in your application in the next section I'll be showing you how the uh, umbrella frameworks are structured and uh, other tips and reminders when preparing umbrella frameworks in this section let me show you the two umbrella frameworks that I have created I have the DF dynamic and XYZ dynamic these umbrella frameworks are identical they depend on AF networking and Coco Lumberjack in this case I have used the XE framework instead of the frameworks of these uh, libraries so the framework um, each of them they have one class and then this class it has a uh, method a fetch method which will just fetch um, some JSON object from a remote server and then print it in the debugger so one of the dependencies is AF networking so it's using it for the networking task and when you are setting up your sub frameworks or child frameworks um, or your dependencies um, you just drag it into the project and then you make sure that the uh, frameworks and libraries um, a, the sub frameworks are listed here and then you embed them uh, embedding is just going to make sure that the copy of these frameworks is added to the bundle of this uh, umbrella framework so when you ship it 
um, that umbrella framework will have a copy of uh, the sub frameworks with it. Otherwise, um, if you don't embed it, then it will not be able to copy it. And then in the build phases, you also have to check um, either you have the embed frameworks or the copy file phase that you have your sub frameworks listed there. And then also uh, code sign is checked in case uh, you need it when you are distributing this to um, some users other than your team. So like I said earlier, um, this umbrella framework is identical to the other one. And let us quickly explore the built product of this uh, umbrella framework. As you can see, um, in the within the umbrella framework, we have the frameworks directory. Normally, the frameworks directory is not generated, but then since in the build phase uh, we set it to the destination frameworks, then these two frameworks are copied in these. Uh, directory. So when uh, you are going to distribute this, um, it will have a copy of the sub frameworks. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how you would uh, use and integrate um, these umbrella frameworks into the main application. In this section, we would see how we would integrate our umbrella frameworks into an iOS project. So right now we have this project with one view controller and uh, the view has a couple of buttons. When, when the buttons are pressed, it will trigger a request. And if we look at the code in the view controller, we imported the uh, umbrella frameworks. And then we also created instances of the uh, XYZ dynamic class and also another instance of the DF dynamic class. Since they are identical, they have the same interface, which is uh, to fetch uh, some JSON object from a remote server and then print them in the debugger. And now I'm going to go ahead and uh, drag a copy of the frameworks into the project. And normally you would uh, check the copy items if needed into your project so to make sure that you have a copy of it in the or inside the project so it's easier for you to manage it and then I'm going to click finish and then I am going to head over to the general tab and then under frameworks libraries and embedded I'm going to make sure that the frameworks are listed and since uh, I already have the frameworks uh, in my project, now I can test this in the uh, simulator and see if it's working. And right now in the debugger, it uh, it print, prints out some errors. It says our path, um, the name of the framework, and then at the bottom you will see the reason image not found. Basically, it means that it doesn't know where uh, our framework is. So either it doesn't have the copy of the framework or we haven't uh, told the compiler where it is. It means that we haven't provided it with the correct path of the framework. What I'm going to try is I'm going to go back to the general tab and then here I'm going to embed the frameworks. So what this does is embedding or copying a copy of those frameworks into the application bundle. Before I'm going to do that, I'm going to explore the um, application. So I just right click to open the uh, where the location of the app is and then show package contents to view um, what it has within the package. So currently it doesn't have any reference to uh, any of our uh, frameworks. If I'm going to go over and then run this application again after I change it to embed, the application should be running. And now we can see uh, these two buttons. And if I press one of them, um, it is able to send out the request and then print out the uh, response in the debugger. If I'm going to press the other one, then it will do the same thing. So if we're going to 
go back to the application, now we can see the frameworks uh, directory. And in the frameworks directory, since we have embedded it, we can see these two frameworks. So whenever this application is shipped or installed, it will have a copy of these frameworks. So whenever it needs them, it will be able to reference these frameworks and the application will work. And the other thing that you need to make sure in case you are still experiencing some errors and you need to correct or properly inform the compiler where your frameworks are, you just head over to framework search paths. So it is the path that you will um, provide uh, or it is the section where you will provide the correct path of the frameworks. So currently it's the uh, project directory which was automatically added for us by Xcode when we dragged the frameworks. In case that um, it's not there or it's empty, you can just uh, correct it by dragging the framework there and then uh, sometimes that happens and I'm going to drag it again. So you can just remove that specific framework and you're just uh, basically telling the uh, uh, compiler in the source root um, you can look for these frameworks. So that's how you will integrate the umbrella, umbrella frameworks into the project. So in this video um, we have learned how to configure or set up our umbrella framework and then how to integrate it into the application project. We also learn the advantage or disadvantages of using an umbrella framework.